Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the common emitter configuration of a transistor. So my dear students, in the previous lectures, we had discussed what is a transistor. A transistor is a type of an electronic semiconductor device which is used for switching and amplification purpose. And there are three different configuration available for a transistor. They are CB, CC and CE configuration. And in this lecture, we are discussing the common emitter that is CE configuration. In common emitter configuration, the base terminal is the input terminal, the collector is the output terminal and emitter is the common terminal for both input and output. That means the base terminal and common emitter terminal are known as the input terminals whereas the collector terminal and the common emitter terminal are known as the output terminals. In common emitter configuration, the emitter terminal is grounded so the common emitter configuration is also known as grounded emitter configuration. Sometimes the common emitter configuration is also referred to as CE configuration, common emitter amplifier or CE amplifier. The common emitter configuration that is CE configuration is a most widely used transistor configuration. The common emitter CE amplifier are used when large current gain is needed. The input signal is amplified between the base and the emitter terminal while the output signal is taken between the collector and the emitter terminal. Thus the emitter terminal of the transistor is common for both input and output and hence it is named as common emitter configuration. The supply voltage between the base and emitter is denoted by VBE while the supply voltage between the collector and emitter is denoted by VCE. In common emitter configuration, the input current or base current is denoted by IB and output current or collector current is denoted by IC. The common emitter amplifier has medium input and output impedance level. So, the current gain and voltage gain of the common emitter amplifier is medium. However, the power gain is very high in this configuration. So now we are going to discuss about the input and output characteristic of CE configuration. Firstly, we are describing the input characteristic. The input characteristic describes the relationship between the input current and the input voltage. That is, we are discussing the relationship between the base current IB and the base emitter voltage VBE. Firstly, draw the vertical and horizontal line. The vertical line represents the y-axis and the horizontal line represents the x-axis. The input current or base current that is IB is taken along the y-axis and the input voltage VBE is taken along the x-axis. To determine the input characteristic, the output voltage VCE is kept constant at 0 volt and the input voltage VBE is increased from 0 volt to different voltage level. For each voltage level of the input voltage, the corresponding input current IB is recorded. A curve is then plotted between the input current IB and the input voltage VBE at constant output voltage with VCE is equal to 0 volt. Next, the output voltage VC is increased from 0 volt to a certain voltage level and now we are considering a 10 volt and the output voltage VCE is kept constant in 10 volt. While increasing the output voltage VCE, the input voltage is kept constant at 0 volt. After we kept the output voltage at constant 10 volt, the input voltage VBE is increased from 0 volt to different voltage level. For each voltage level of the input voltage, the corresponding input current is recorded. The curve is then drawn between the input current and the input voltage at constant output voltage VCE is at 10 volt. This process is repeated for different voltage levels. When the output voltage is at 0 volt and the emitter base junction is forward biased by the input voltage, the emitter base junction act as a normal PN junction diode. 
So the input characteristic of C configuration is same as the characteristic of a normal PN junction diode. The cut-in voltage of a silicon transistor is 0.7 volt while the germanium transistor is 0.3 volt. So we had considered a silicon transistor so that we can see that after 0.7 volt the small increase in input voltage will rapidly increase the input current IB. In common emitter configuration the input current that is IB is very small as compared to the input current IE in common base configuration. The input current in the CE configuration is measured in microamperes, whereas the input current in CB configuration is measured in milliamperes. In common emitter configuration, the input current IB is produced in the base region which is lightly doped and has small width. So the base region produces only a small input current IB. On the other hand, in common base configuration, the input current IE is produced in the emitter region which is heavily doped and has a large width. So the emitter region produces a large input current. Therefore, the input current produced in the common emitter configuration is small as compared to the common base configuration. So now when we are coming to the output characteristic, the output characteristic describes the relationship between the output current and the output voltage VCE. The output current that is a collector current IC is represented in the Y axis and the output voltage VCE is represented in the X axis. To determine the output characteristic the input current or the base current IB is kept constant at 0 microampere and the output voltage VC is increased from 0 volt to different voltage level. For each level of output voltage the corresponding output current is recorded. A curve is then drawn between the output current IC and the output voltage VCE at constant input current IB as 0 microampere. When the base current or input current is at 0 microampere, the transistor operates in the cutoff region. In this region, both junctions are reverse biased. Next, the input current at its IB is increased from 0 microampere to 20 microampere by adjusting the input voltage. The input current IB is kept constant at 20 microampere. While increasing the input current, the output voltage is kept constant at 0 volt. After we kept the input current constant at 20 microampere, the output voltage VCE is increased from 0 volt to different voltage level. For each voltage level of the output voltage, the corresponding output current is recorded. A curve is then drawn between the output current IC and the output voltage VCE at constant input current with IB at 20 microampere. This region is known as the active region of the transistor and in this region the emitter base junction is forward biased and the collector base junction is reverse biased. This step is repeated for different higher value of input currents. When the output voltage is reduced to a small value that is 0.2 volt, the collector base junction becomes forward biased. This is because the output voltage VCE has less effect on the collector base junction than the input voltage VBE. As we know that the emitter base junction is already forward biased, therefore when both the junctions are forward biased, the transistor operates in the saturation region. In this region, a small increase in the output voltage will rapidly increase the output current IC. So now we are discussing the different transistor parameters. The first one is a dynamic input resistance that is represented in Ri. A dynamic input resistance is defined as a ratio of change in input voltage or base voltage to the corresponding change in input current or the base current with the output voltage or the collector voltage is kept constant in this case. That is the input resistance Ri is equal to delta VBE by delta IB with VCE is kept as constant. In the CE configuration, the input resistance is very low. 
Now, when it comes to the dynamic output resistance, which is represented as RO, the dynamic output resistance is defined as the ratio of change in output voltage to the corresponding change in output current. And the input current or the base current is kept constant in this case and it is represented as RO is equal to delta VCE by delta IC with IB as constant and the output resistance is very high in the CE configuration. When it comes to the current gain, the current gain is represented in alpha. The current gain of a transistor in CE configuration is defined as the ratio of output current, that is a collector current, to the input current, that is a base current. So the current gain is represented as beta and beta is equal to IC by IB. The current gain of the transistor in CE configuration is high. Therefore, the transistor in CE configuration is used for amplifying the current. So, my dear students, these are the different characteristics of common emitter configuration of a transistor. So, we had discussed the common emitter configuration, the input characteristic, output characteristic, the input characteristic, output characteristic, and different configuration factors so my dear students hope you had understood this topic so dear students kindly go through the assignment question our question is write notes on common emitter configuration with input characteristic output characteristic and current gain of ce configuration so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the common collector configuration of a transistor so dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best